Hey guys, Zaman and Christina from, from Our, Our Rich, Rich Journey. Journey. Today we are talking about high yielding dividend investments. You see, dividends are such a sweet benefit when it comes to investing in the stock market. In fact, Christina and I have built a portfolio of high yielding dividend ETFs that pay us income in early retirement. And so on today's video, we want to talk about four specific ETFs that pay you income in the form of dividends, high yielding dividend ETFs. So I love this topic. I love talking about investing on our channel. And what I really love is giving specific concrete examples of investments so that you can go out and research it more and see if these are good investments to fit into your portfolio. So with these particular investments, we'll give you the ticker symbol so you can research them more, but we'll also go into more detail about what they are, what they invest in, how expensive it is to own that. We're talking about the expense ratio. And then also what is the dividend income? What's the yield that you can get in dividends with these particular investments? So before we we get started. If you are new to our channel, our channel is all about making money, saving money, and investing money on the road to financial independence. Aman and I pursued financial independence for eight years. We reached our goal and we were able to quit our jobs and retire before the age of 40. So if you are interested in learning about ways to make, save, and invest money, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram. So in this video, we are gonna be focused on high dividends. But if you're new to investing, there are typically three different ways that you can generate income from your portfolio. It can be through the form of capital gains, which is when you buy an investment, it goes up in price and then you sell it. That is just capital gains. Another way is through interest. So if you own a bond or a CD, you collect interest off of that, and that's another form of income. And the third way that we're gonna focus on for this video are dividend payments. So dividends are just a distribution of a portion of a company's profits that it pays to shareholders. So when we're talking about high dividends for this video, we're talking about dividend payouts that are higher than what you would normally get from an S&P 500 index fund fund or a total stock market index fund. So with dividends, they are a really great way to get routine payments because dividends are typically paid out either monthly, quarterly, or annually. But let's dig deeper into dividend investing with some key things that you should keep in mind if you are investing for dividend income. The first thing is don't chase the yield. Mm -hmm. That means don't invest in something just because it pays a high dividend because the underlying investment may be a bad investment. If a company says they're gonna pay you 20% in dividend, mm -hmm. but the company is probably gonna fail in the next year and a half, you're gonna lose all of your money through that investment. That dividend yield is not worth it. So it is important that when you pick your investments that you are picking quality investments that also pay a dividend. Yes, because it's important to keep in mind also that even though a company pays a particular dividend, that doesn't mean that they have to continue paying it at the same rate. They can cut the dividend, they can reduce it, they can actually completely eliminate the div dividend if they want to. So if you're just chasing a high dividend, but you're not looking at the investment of that company or the ETF or index fund that you're investing in, you could lose a lot of money. The next thing to keep in mind is your strategy for making investments that pay out these high dividends. Now you can invest in individual stocks that have these high dividends, or you can also invest in index funds and ETFs that also pay high dividends. If you have watched probably any of our investment videos on this channel, you know that we are huge fans of index funds and ETFs. And that also is true for index funds and ETFs when you're developing a portfolio that pays out high dividends. Now we talk about this, like I said, in all of our other videos, but the concept of this is when you invest in individual companies, you are basically putting all of your money into one basket, all of your eggs into one basket. And so it's much riskier than investing in ETFs or index funds that hold many different companies that will spread your risk out in these ETFs and index funds. And so if your investment strategy is to make sure you are collecting dividends, investing in an ETF or an index fund 
is also a safer route to go. Because again, that individual company could fail and there goes all of your dividend income as opposed to the index fund or ETF that you are investing in. You will continue to collect that dividend even if companies within that ETF fail because so many companies make up that ETF or index fund. The only way for you not to get your dividend would be for all of the companies within that fund to stop paying the dividend. The other thing to keep in mind is that dividends are constantly changing. So we're gonna be talking about some ETFs today and we're gonna be citing whatever the dividend payment is at the particular time that we made this video. But dividends change for a number of reasons, including the price of the share. So what we quote you today may not be the same dividend payout tomorrow. And two other quick points about dividends. Dividends are paid out, like I said, either monthly, quarterly or annually. But with most brokerages, you have the option of reinvesting your dividends into your investment. We think this is a great idea because it allows for compound interest and it allows your portfolio to grow even faster. The other point that I wanna mention is that when you are investing in high yielding dividend ETFs or index funds or any type of high yielding investment, you really wanna think about your strategy for which account you're going to be using using for those investments because there are tax repercussions associated with that. Even if you are automatically reinvesting your dividends, if you're investing in a non-tax advantaged account, you are going to be taxed on those dividend payouts. So we did a whole video on tax efficiency investing. If you're interested in seeing that, we'll leave a link for that video in the description below. So without further ado, let's get into the four high yielding dividend ETFs that we like. The first one is one of our all time favorites. It's one that we invest in. Now we are not saying you should invest in it, <laughs> but we are saying that it fits within our investment plan and it is VYM. VYM has been the goat for us <laughs> as far as dividend investing. So VYM is Vanguard's high dividend yield ETF. Like Amon said, we invest in it. If you're actually interested in seeing what we invest in and why we invest in those things, or if you're interested in developing your own unique investment plan, make sure you enroll in our stock market investing course. We'll leave a link for that in the description below. But let's talk about VYM because it really fits in well with our investment strategy and it has worked really well for us. So VYM has an expense ratio of 0.06% and it has a dividend yield of 2.84% and that's paid out quarterly. So it's designed to track the performance of the FTSE High Dividend Yield Index, which is an index of companies that are characterized as having high dividend yields. So the fund itself holds primarily large cap stocks that are basically forecasted to have above average dividend yields. It has a little over 400 holdings and it has a really diverse set of sectors that it invests in. So things like financials, healthcare, technology, utilities, and telecommunications, just to name a few. Its top five holdings include JP Morgan, Johnson & Johnson, Home Depot, Procter & Gamble, and Bank of America. So let's talk about performance. If you look at this fund, it was created in 2006, and its 10-year return was 11.89%, Year to date, its return is 17.64%. 17.64%. This is why VYM has been so great for mm -hmm. us. Not only does it pay a high dividend, but the return year after year has been amazing. I mean, we couldn't hope for a better return in a ETF or an index fund. So that's VYM. Let's talk about our next ETF that we really like, and it is SCHD. It is a ETF that is high yielding with Schwab. So the expense ratio on SCHD is 0.06%. It has a dividend yield of 2.81% that is paid out quarterly. Now SCHD is designed to track the performance of the Dow Jones US Dividend 100 Index which is an index focused on the quality and sustainability of dividends. The fund also holds primarily large cap stocks, but also holds a small percentage of mid and small cap stocks. 
The fund contains a little over 100 holdings, but similar to VYM, SCHD also has a diverse set of sectors that it invests in, including information technology, financials, consumer staples, industrials, and healthcare. SCHD's top five holdings include Home Depot, Pfizer, IBM, Texas Instruments, and Pepsi Company. So SCHD was created in October of 2011, so it doesn't have a full complete 10 year history to compare to VYM or to compare to the other two index funds that we're gonna be talking about. But it has an almost close to 10 year history. So since its inception, SCHD has had an average annual return that has been 15.56% and year to date, its return is 17.02%. So if you haven't noticed the theme, we have been talking about ETFs that pay a high dividend, but they also experience a great deal of capital gains. I mean, another ETF that is returning 17% year to date, that is amazing. So let's move on to our next ETF, which is SDY. It's the Spider S&P Dividend ETF. Now this particular ETF has the highest expense ratio out of all the four different ones that we're talking about. It's 0.35%. The dividend yield for SDY is 2.58% and just like the others, it's paid out quarterly. Now this particular ETF is designed to measure the performance of the S&P High Yield Dividend Aristocrats Index, which is an index that holds companies that have followed this policy of consistently increasing dividends every year for at least 20 consecutive years. And the fund holds primarily large and mid cap stocks, and it holds close to 115 total holdings. It invests in different sectors like financials, consumer staples, industrials, utilities, and healthcare. Its top five holdings include Exxon, AT&T, South Jersey Industries, Chevron, and AbbVie. Now for performance, this fund was created in 2005. Its 10 year return was 12.9% and year to date, its return is 19.15%. And our last ETF is HDV. It's iShares Core High Dividend ETF. So if you look at the expense ratio for this one, it's 0.08% and its dividend yield is 3.7%. Just like all of the other ETFs we talked about, this dividend is paid out quarterly. So this ETF is designed to track the Morningstar Dividend Yield Focus Index. And that is an index that focuses on relatively high dividend paying stocks. So this particular fund holds primarily large cap stocks and it has a little over 75 holdings. Its top sectors are energy, healthcare, consumer defense, and financial services. Its top five holdings include Exxon, Johnson & Johnson, JP Morgan, Verizon, and Chevron. So this particular fund was created in 2011 and its 10 year return was 9.84%. Year to date, its return is 13.21%. So those are the dividend ETFs that we like. Of course, you should go out and do your own research to see how these investments would fit into your overall financial independence plan. For us, dividends were a key part of our plan. But we hope this video gave you some food for thought when you're developing your own plan. And so as usual, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and join, join the, the journey. journey.